Hi everyone, welcome to the Muster Drill. I'm Scott and today we're going to talk about Royal Caribbean making another announcement. The Carnival Mardi Gras arrives in Puerto Rico and MSC starts sailing from the U.S. again. Hi everyone, welcome back. So, uh, here we go again, another update from Royal Caribbean. However, this time it's um, it's a result of a change, um, a new requirement that the United States Virgin Islands put into effect immediately. All guests, all cruise passengers, ages 12 or older, have to be vaccinated or they can't even be on the ship and stay on the ship they cannot be on that sailing at all Royal Caribbean announced that anyone currently booked I believe they have an allure of the seas sailing um, scheduled for um, the United States Virgin Islands anyone um, 12 or older who's unvaccinated will either have that cruise canceled or they'll be given an opportunity to sail on an alternate cruise, an alternate itinerary, but they cannot even be on a ship. Um, it, children 12 and younger who obviously can't be vaccinated but are traveling with a vaccinated parent or an adult well, they have to, you know, undergo the standard PCR tests as well as onboard restrictions and continued testing and so forth. So, yeah, um, and, you know, and that's at, that's effective immediately. So uh, unlike the um, Carnival Mardi Gras, you know, if you're unvaccinated, you can't even be on it sailing. So it's going to be interesting to see how <laughs> Royal Caribbean able, is able to get that past the, um, you know, the new Florida law and the Florida regulation. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, they've been asking people, you know, are you vaccinated or are you unvaccinated? So I guess, you know, it'll just be if they say yes, great you get on the ship and be prepared to show the proof and if not then okay um we're going to treat you as unvaccinated if you don't answer the question we're going to treat you as unvaccinated and we're going to cancel your cruise or offer you an alternative sailing so we'll see you know where that all goes and we'll see how many other countries you know island nations or whatever follow suit with that so um we're interested though you know what do you think about that move from the u.s virgin islands do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing well let us know in the comments below and we'll talk about it so um in uh, other news the um, mardi gras finally reaches its first destination puerto rico so um so yeah so um the mardi gras uh, arrived in puerto rico as you may remember um, puerto rico made us um a, a change to their uh, to their rules for the cruise ships and they're not allowing the unvaccinated to get off the ship so um, from what we understand the mardi gras sailed with about 70 percent um capacity so that's a roughly around 4500 passengers um and i guess they estimate about a thousand of those are unvaccinated with those being made up mostly of children under 12. so um so yeah so it arrived in puerto rico but uh, again you know the unvaccinated not allowed off the ship so I know Puerto Rico has been reporting some increase in COVID cases like everywhere else. And it's because of our, you know, our dear old friend Delta. So, um, you know, so we'll go, you know, we'll see how that goes. But, um, you know, Puerto Rico is anxious to, you know, start their tourism again. Um, if you may remember, they um, um, had quite a few um outbreaks throughout the entire um process or throughout the entire you know uh, pandemic and you know as a result 
Um, you know, th they rely heavily on tourism and most of their tourism is, you know, on the lion's share of the tourism is cruise ships. So, you know, they're anxious to get back. Um, I believe in 2019, they, they had something like, I don't know, like 2 million visitors or whatever in that entire year. So, um, you know, I'm not sure how many ships that was, but you know, total was about 2 million people visited the island. So I'm sure that's, you know, huge boost to their econ economy. So, you know, they're getting, you know, they're, you know, they, they want to get back to it, too, like everybody else. So, you know, so um, see, the Mardi Gras was the first one to get there. So, you know, we'll see what happens with all of that. But um, and then finally today, um, MSC is sailing from the United States again. So they um, the MSC's um, sailing from the U.S. from from Miami was kicked off with the um, MSC Maryland. Maraviglia, <laughs> so they um, they set sail yesterday, and they're going to be sailing to um, believe Nassau as well as MSC's private island Ocean K. So on top of that, um, MSC is going to resume their uh, seven night Eastern and Western uh, Caribbean sailings, I believe, on in sometime in mid to late September. Um, now, they were scheduled to call on Jamaica, Ocho Rios, Jamaica, but I'm not sure that they're um, going to be able to do that. So I'm sure there's going to be a change possibly to that itinerary just because I don't, um, Jamaica is not currently uh, accepting uh, cruise passengers. So we'll see how all that plays out. And then, um, so yeah, so, you know, we... You know, we wish MSC, uh, you know, they had a lot of success in their early... Um, in the early sailings from Italy in 2020, if you remember, they busted that family <laughs> that were, you know, that tried to sneak away from the, from the, um, excursion and didn't let them back in. So they, you know, so we give them kudos for that. So I'm sure that, you know, they have been, um, you know, like everybody else working on a whole set of protocols and, you know, and, and trying to ensure on board safety. So we're um, so we're glad yet another cruise line is starting up from the United States again, um, and of course um, we want to remind everybody that we're gonna be on the Carnival Mardi Gras on August 14th. Looking forward to that. Can't wait to bring you some videos and some information from the Mardi Gras. So. Um, so yeah, so we hope that you'll tune in and, and watch our, our, our videos from there. So, all right, well, that's it for today. Um, thank you so much for being here and for watching. And if you would, please subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, please click the like button. Don't forget to click the notification bell so that you know every time we upload a new video. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.